tell me guys, is this not really absolutely crazy? I mean, this is really how this rear screen is meant to be used. And yeah, honestly guys, I really, really enjoy this. Let's try to see if YouTube works. So I've just opened my channel on the back screen and I'm gonna try to play. <laughs> You can see guys, I'm able to even play a YouTube video. Am I able to record it? I should. Oh, oh my God, Jesus Christ. Welcome back to the channel guys. Yes, what you have seen right now is not a 3D render, it's not an animation. It is a working implementation on something that I believe should have been stock functionality for the Xiaomi 17 Pro and the Pro Max rear screen. Yes, all right, I'm gonna say yes with <laughs> capital letters guys okay first let me tell you what this thing is a lot of respect to the developers out there it's still very much work in progress and then let me show you how we got it to here so yes besides the indeed very beautiful animation customizations or design customization on the rear screen the notifications yeah they were just absolutely almost not existent when you swipe from here you get things like notifications and pin messages and yes there's some useful things that you can do like putting a stopwatch here and like a time and probably the best option right now is the fact that you are able to use the back camera like this so right now I can use the back camera and I can get this as a viewfinder so indeed there are some very nice implementations but the regular notifications here were missing which was driving me absolutely crazy guys so let me show you this application this is the so-called MRSS and yes it does require Shizuku so it's not so hard to set it up guys you just need to install Shizuku on your phone and and there are various methods uh, for pairing it. I used uh, my phone connected to the PC and just run an ADB command, but you can also do this, you know, with the wireless pairing. And you need to authorize the MRSS to get Shizuku access. And yes, this application right now is only in China. It has also other useful features, guys. Let me walk you through. So the moment you install the application, you are going to uh, get the option of additional buttons. So one thing you can do is, let me show that this is absolutely crazy, guys. Okay, so see here now, I'm using Google Chrome, and now I have this thing here, I can click this button, and it's going to immediately just put my active app on the back screen, all right, making this absolutely usable. This is so, so good, guys. Let's try to see if YouTube works, so I've just opened my channel on the back screen, and I'm gonna try to play. <laughs> You can see guys, I'm able to even play a YouTube video, all right? Now, at the moment, I'm not sure if this thing is gonna be useful besides the fact that you can now fully functionally use this screen for whatever you want. You can also try to play Chocolate Doom on your back screen, why not? And it's going to utilize like the full screen space here, which is absolutely phenomenal. So this is what you can do with that button here. You have the option also to take screenshots, all right? So right now you can see this has been displayed on my back screen and I'm able to take a screenshot from my back screen. I don't know again if this is gonna be useful, so I'm gonna hit the recording button here. All right, guys, let me play a video from Rick Beato just in case, and I'm going to hit the record button. So what happens right now, guys? Am I able to record it? I should. Oh, oh my God, Jesus Christ, okay. Yeah, captured on camera, live. All right, the video is playing here. Hopefully my phone is still intact. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. I hope I can stop. Let me just try to stop it, okay? And now, guys, I should get a recording, yep. So this is now a recording from my screen, uh, back screen, which is which is really fantastic, guys. Now, guys, some more information about this tool. I'm gonna uh, leave the link down below in GitHub. This is the Mi Rear Screen Switcher, or MRSS. It's a one-click screen switcher for the dual screen devices such as the uh, Xiaomi 17 Pro and the 17 Pro Max. Okay, what can we do with this? Quick switch. Use the quick switch in the control center to switch apps to the back screen with a single tap. This is what I just shown you. The back screenshot is also what I've shown you. You can capture the back screen with one click and save it to your photo album. All right, and then you have the back screen recording. Charging animation, a beautiful charging animation. 3D lighting with flowing liquid effect is displayed on the back screen when the device is plugged in. Let me try to test this. All right, guys, let's check this beautiful charging animation. So I'm gonna hook up my phone and Oh, this is something else. This is definitely something else. Really, I mean, this is really something else. I like it. And probably the most important thing is the push notifications. Automatically display notification content 
on the back screen when you receive a notification, supports app selection plus privacy mode plus dynamic reload. Background activity, the switching function can be triggered normally even when the application is in the background. Also, good things guys, since we're using Shizuku, no root is required. You just need Shizuku for this and it's an easy step. Exquisite user interface, material tree design, four color gradient user interface with a precise 2.84 super elliptical rounded corners. Smart protection, always on your screen, smart monitoring, DPI adjustment, guys. They have so many things. Rotation of the screen, really, really a lot of respect to the guys out there. This is absolutely and batshit crazy. What these guys did is really phenomenal and this is really how Xiaomi should have done it in the first place. Anti-oblivions, guys. They, by the way, put this very nice tutorial that is all in Chinese, but hey, I mean, we can use Google Lens and AI to translate it on how to set up the app. So once you have granted the correct rights with Shizuku, guys, it's not that hard at all. So you just need to open the app, make sure that Shizuku is running. So let's check some of the settings. And the way I do it, by the way, it's very easy. I just run everything through the circle to search and then translate it. So indeed, the most important indication here is this green checkbox, Shizoko uh, to be running. The second setting is adjusting the DPI. Now, they recommend between 260 to uh, 350. I'm using 350 on my phone. You can, by the way, also rotate the display 90, 180, 270 degrees. I'm not using any kind of rotation. There's something called back screens cover detection. So apparently the tool can also detect if you have a cover. I don't have a cover, by the way, anyway, that's on. Then guys, we have always on when not deployed. I didn't turn this on, back screen always on. So we can control the back screen from here. And then guys, this beautiful charging animation I showed you is from here. Charging animation, boom. And then you have the option charging animation always on. And this is probably the most important thing for me right now in the moment. Again, I'm really grateful that these guys did that. So this is the back screen notification. Let me show you how this works in action. So now I'm back on my phone. This is it, guys. All right, so you need to enable this. By the way, the first time you enable this, you need to grant some permissions. Again, nothing really that's sophisticated, guys. And once this is enabled, you go inside, guys, and then you have the option to select which apps you want to get on the back screen. So right now I have Messenger and I have Viber. You can, by the way, also click here. This is show the system apps and there are some other settings for you uh, to play with, like self-destruct and stuff like this. So again, this app really has crazy functionality and i'm going to demonstrate one more time guys so i'm just gonna send a random message from my other phone on messenger boom all right now yeah and i can see who is messaging me i can see what people are messaging and this is really really useful guys this is really really useful because again what xiaomi implemented doesn't really work that well i mean yes it has a nice fancy design and yes you can just go and try to use uh, the back camera you know it's the main camera but the most important thing with this rear screen would have been to get something like this finally get some proper notification because at the end of the day why not i mean imagine you're in a meeting you don't want to get distracted you put your phone with a display on a desk and yeah you can just see who is messaging you so this works absolutely fantastic i'm gonna show the vibe notifications once more so i'm just sending one message from Viber, what I like is that they just like the icons are so big, you know, and it's really team. So honestly, absolutely great work to the guys. You know, they deserve a lot of credit for this. I'm gonna leave a link down below in the video description to this project. If you do have the Xiaomi 17 Pro at 17 Pro Max, you can try this. By the way, a disclaimer guys, since yes, this is accessing your notifications, you need to provide your access. And this is a decision that you need to take on your own if you really wanna trust this application and etc. In my case, I gave all the required permissions since I really wanted to test something like this. But again, I'm just advising you, make your own research. I really hope it is safe. Anyway, what we know right now at the moment is that it works absolutely flawlessly and it's absolutely fantastic. I really love it. I'm probably going to keep using it because at the end, this really puts some sense in this rear screen that is indeed very beautiful, you know, big screen, high resolution, but has some very limited capabilities, which we are now finally able to overcome with the MRSS or the Mi rear screen switcher. Tell me guys, is this not really absolutely crazy? I mean, this is really how this rear screen is meant to be used and yeah. Honestly, guys, I really, really enjoy this. So you can watch your YouTube movies, YouTube videos, you can play your favorite games, you can get your favorite notifications, you can record videos if you want, you can also, 
to do screenshot with this thing but probably the most important function for me is the fact that yes my notification oh yes somebody <laughs> somebody just sent me a notification yeah it really works thank you so much for watching guys again go download it praise those developers great guys out there stay safe vst over and bye <laughs>